Hey guys, en Sala Maleco, Maleco en Sala, que en Sami los acutare. I don't make videos or post on YouTube or Instagram or none of this social media, Facebook, none of that. But I had a little, where well, you could say a rant, if you want to call it that. Um, just things that I've been thinking about uh, throughout, you know, not only life, but throughout also the time that I've been, you know, looking and in my journey as an engangulero, you understand? Trying to learn the uh, the Bantu, uh, Kikongo, uh, let's say Africa, uh, Afri uh, yeah, Af Afro Cuban, Cuban way of this face system, this face system which they call, people call it babaleros, people call it ganguleros, people call it malongo, you know, it's a different names that they put uh, on it, um, but they all are really talking about they practicing a African uh, tradition, which was kind of like modified or uh, changed to a certain extent uh, in Cuba, when they brought the Bantu people uh, in slave ships to Cuba. Now, my rant is not about the actual faith, or let's say the the the, the way of life of being an gangulero or palero, whether you are tata or a yaya or just a godson or a goddaughter. You know what they call an empangi. Um, uh, um, it's more about what I want to speak about is more about what people don't speak of the ins and outs of finding a good tata let's say in Spanish godfather, uh, padrino godmother, yaya, madrina you understand um People don't speak. Like, I see a lot of people trying and speaking about certain things of the faith. I don't know much about the faith. So, I'm not going to sit here and say I know a whole bunch. Because I don't. Um, I'm a knowledge seeker. I have been in different religions and different faiths. And studied to a certain degree certain faith and and been even initiated or associated in them because they interest me and and for my thinking i'm thinking about i'm finding the way i'm you know this is something that is calling me or or i'm so interested in that i'm looking to see if that's something that's really part of me uh as far as my spiritual walk um but a lot of people, what I'm, what I'm speaking about is a lot of people don't speak about the bad things that happen, the, the bad experiences that you have in your Munanzo, in your Enzo, in, in your house of, of, let's say, worship. Um, because we all know the Atata usually has certain spiritual receptacles and things of that nature where the God children go, where you congregate at. So uh, there's a lot of time spent in that area, you know? Now, there's a lot of things that go on. Not on, It's not only in, 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 in Mayombe. And I don't care what rama you from, you know? Whether it's BTT Congo, where, whether it's... Um, uh, 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 um, Kita or whatever, whatever, whatever faith or whatever line, lineage you're coming from, is all it happens the same. Everything happens the same, just different. The same as far as there's always problems, and there's always little things going on, going out there that a lot of people don't understand, and a lot of people have to stay quiet because they are taught that 
it's like anything in life, man. Your mother and your father is the most important thing in your life, right? And you respect them, you love them. Me, I bent over backwards for mother and father, grandmother, you know, elderly uncles, whatever, you know? Your children, you know what I mean? Because that's what you, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what, that's the much, that's as much the respect you got for them, you understand? But here in the United States, the religion has become a source of income, money, uh, a source of lucracy, you know? And uh, a lot of uh, religious leaders here, whether they're in Ocha, whether they're Palero, whether they're in uh, uh, um, uh, Voodoo, whether they're in La 21 División, whether, you know, which they also call Lo Misterio, whether, you know, what anything that has to do with working the spiritual realm, from my understanding of what I have seen, I'm 50 years old, guys. You know, I'm still young, but I'm 50. And I've seen a lot of things in religion, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islam, whether it's Hebrew, Israelites, whether it's the Judaism faith, whether Santeria, which is Ocha over here, they call it Santeria. We say Santeria, but it's Ocha, um, uh, Paleria, uh, all these types of, uh, 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 of faiths here in the United States. For some reason, it's not, it's, ve it's not, I'm not going to say it's not, it's very difficult for you to find real godfathers real godmothers and when i say real i don't mean real as humans i mean that know what they're talking about they teach you to the best of their ability and not only do you respect them with the utmost respect they respect you also because at, at the end of the day you're still a human being you're still a man you're still a woman child and so on you know you don't treat your kids bad right i mean a good parent doesn't treat their kids bad a good parent if they have to uh uh, uh reprehend or speak to their child because they did something that is not benefiting to them or to you as a parent that is befitting to you or as a to them or to you um I'm a little bit, you know, because I don't do videos, so I'm not used to being on the camera and speaking, you know. Um, it's not what I do. I actually do deliveries for a pharmacy here in Philadelphia, PA. And people maybe that might see this video might know, might know me, whether they're from Florida or New York or here in Philly, because, um, you know, it's something that, when you know people, people are gonna know you, and and if you have certain altercations or certain misunderstanding with certain people, then they might be interested to, to for a video like this. They might want to watch it. <laughs> and I don't mean no disrespect. I you know I, I'm, I'm I try to be as respectful as I can, but it comes to a certain degree. That's a line that you have to draw. You know, um, respect is earned, and when you are earned that respect. You give respect, you understand? It's just something that happens naturally. Just about us just being humans, you know? But long story short, and to cut this video, like I said, I'm not into this for nothing. My rant is people need to speak about what's going on in Mayombe and this and this way of life, this faith about the wrongs. Not because they people here in this religion or this way of life and this whichever word you want to use to call it you know because there's words that we use here in the United States or in Spanish that not even the band two people know what the hell you're talking about you understand because they've never been here 
You know, they always stood in their land and they never were shipped over here as slaves and they never been through all the things and the atrocities that happened to the Bantu and to the Yoruba and to all, all, all other types of African tribes that were brought here also. Do you understand? Um, I would like for people to speak about why are there so many God children, whether male or female, not just from Santeria, but from our religion ourselves, from Palo, Palo Mayombe, um, whatever Rama they're from, whether it's the Chamalonga, whether they're from Santo Cristo Buen, Buen Viaje, whatever. But people need to speak about what's going on here in the United States because I am very, 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 very skeptical on Godfathers here in the United States because of certain um, experiences I have had with a couple that I have had, not just one, and not just from, from Palo, from Ifa, from Palo, from Ocha, and not just one time, you know? And what I mean that one time is when you leave a house, usually you look for another house. And if that house accepts you to certain rituals that go by and certain things that have to go on for them to accept you, you're in another place, you understand? And now you're there in that house. But my question is, if there was a survey put out there to ask all the God children here in the United States that are without Godmothers and Godfathers I wonder how much Godchildren are without Godfathers and Godmothers and why and what was the reason. Because it can't just be that all the Godchildren are bad and all the Godchildren from falta de respeto, they're disrespectful. It can't be just that. I mean, it's impossible for all the majority of Godchildren to be disrespectful, be, be no good, be backslanders, backbiters, be uh, uh, problematic people. It, it can't be. And it just can't be happening to me or it just could have not just happened to me. You understand? I know who I am. I'm no, uh, I'm no candy cane in other words, pause. But at the same time, I'm a loving person. I'm a father with six children. I'm a husband, you understand, for 18 years with my second wife. My first one was for 10 years, you understand? Um, I work. I don't hang out in the streets. I don't go to clubs. I don't drink liquor. I don't smoke drugs. You understand? Um, I, I'm respectful to, my, respectful to my elders to the utmost. I do deliveries for a pharmacy and I work with elderly people, which the, usually the people that are getting pharmaceuticals are elderly. Not that we don't have any young, but they're elderly. So I have much respect for them. They respect me. A lot of them love me, treat me with love. I treat them like a mom, like a dad, like a grandma. So my thing is, it just can't be just us God children. There are the disrespectful ones and the ones that only have done some bad or some wrong. Um, I wanted to make a short video out there, you know, just, and I'm going to put it in YouTube. I'm going to put it in YouTube. I don't care how it comes out because like I said, I'm not here to be doing YouTube videos every single day, but I would like to know how many people are out there without Godfathers and God mothers. And I would like for them to post in the bottom, the reasons, what, what state they are from, what religion or, or faith they following, what is Ocha or Palo, or, 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 or Mysterio, whatever, or Vudum, whatever. What was the reason? In a short brief, not I have to be too long, and I want people to, I hope that people see this video and, and are able to post their experiences and what happened. You don't have to put much, but the experiences and why you are, how they call us Buey Suelto. Because when you don't have a, 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 a padrino, 
you know, whether it's your tata uh, or, 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 or your taita, you know, the grandfa your grandfather in religion or, or, your, or your yaya or your madrina in ocha or whatever. You usually what they call boy suelto, meaning you like a you like a you like a bull loose in the country, just trying to eat grass here and there, because you know that your teacher and your role model, who is it? Your padrino and your madrina. So if you don't have them, who's teaching you? Okay. And salam alaikum alaikum sala. Mano con mano no cuanga, si cuanga se vira lo mundo. God bless, be safe, and I hope that uh, I didn't uh, burn your ear off, off too much. Sorry for my speech. Like I said, I'm not used to the cameras. God bless.